Thanks for joining us here at Platinum Loops. Today we're going to create a monster kick drum in Ableton's operator. So when we're finished, it'll sound a little something like this. So it's just this big bulky kick drum. Now go ahead and pull up a blank instance of operator. And for oscillator 1, it's set to a sine wave, so we'll go ahead and leave it there. We just want to bring down our decay. I'm going to go up on my volume here slightly. And then my tone as well. Now for oscillator 2, we'll set this to a triangle waveform. We'll go up on our level to about minus 15 dB. And for this decay, we'll bring it all the way down as well. Now oscillator 3, we'll set to a saw 3 wave. We'll go down on our course to 0.5 and all the way up on our level. Go ahead and drop this decay as well. Now lastly for oscillator 4, we'll set this to a sine wave, which it already is. And then we'll go up just slightly on the level. About minus 40 and uh, detune it about 65. So let's go ahead and scroll down to our different oscillator chains uh, and you see them spread across the top here. Uh, and You can generate a lot of different tones just based on the pick of your choice. So we'll go ahead and settle on the fifth chain from the left. That gives us a pretty punchy sound. Now for our time, if we go up or down, it'll affect the length of our kick. Kind of gives it more of a plosive when you go up. But if you go down, it shortens it. So we're going to set ours to probably about 20%. And uh, that's basically how it's done. Now you can make some subtle adjustments to your course and different levels uh, to generate some different tones. See, just by going up on that just a touch. So go ahead and get used to playing with these different levels. This has been an inside look at how to create a monster kick drum in Ableton's operator. Stop by and visit us at PlatinumLoops.com.